<laughs> yeah, we did it, Mr. Sanford. The restaurant's a hit. We're making money hand over foot. Yeah, and Lamont said it couldn't be done. We sure fooled him. Excuse me, are you the owners of this restaurant? Yeah. And you're the guy that goes around the restaurant rating them. And, and you had, you just saw that our food was nice, delicious, and fresh, and you're gonna give us four stars. No, no, I'm Inspector Logan. Homicide! <laughs> Someone died from Sukiyaki seizure. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm from the health department, and I'm here to make sure that your new restaurant meet the health codes established in this city. Like what? First, for openers. The law states that this restaurant should provide separate bathroom facilities for men and women. We got that. Sir, it just won't do to have one bathroom with a sign that says, first come, first serve. Uh, OK, OK. I, I, I'll add another bathroom. Sir, I'm afraid there's more than that. There are not enough exits, the, the ventilation is poor, and the dishwasher is no good at all. Hey, man, I do the best I can. <laughs> Sir, the law requires that all dishes must be washed at a temperature of no less than 180 degrees Fahrenheit. It's OK, aren't you? From now on, you can wash the dishes inside the oven. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, at first glance, I can see there are at least seven other violations. How about eight? How's that? Bribery. Here, put this tin in your pocket, man. Forget about this. Oh, sir, I'm sorry, but here's your citation. This restaurant must be closed immediately until these violations are corrected. Oh, you can't do that. Give us a break, brother. <laughs> Come here. Look, this is a war veteran. Sir, this place, I suggest, should be remodeled. Remodeling ain't a bad idea. Oh, wait a minute. How much did all that cost? Well, I'm not an expert. But I'd say around ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Oh no! Listen, the man don't want me to jump business, and I'm losing money in the food business. I should. What should I do? First of all, try taking your hand off the stove. <laughs> Overdrawn $58.63. Oh, I don't understand that. How can I get. I just. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Simpson. I forgot the pipe. Oh, but I thought that was a half inch uh, wire. Oh, you're gonna cancel the order? Wait a minute, Mr. Simpson. I can explain everything. You see, my father's not working with me in the business anymore, and I just fell off. <laughs> Oh, hey, Papa, I want to talk to you about I ain't, something. I ain't, I ain't, I'm, I'm all right. No, no I ain't going to say nothing to you. I ain't going to bother you. Well, I got something to talk to you about. See, and I got something to talk to you about, too, son. See, see Papa, the, restaurant... the junk business is going bankrupt. I thought I could run the business without you, Papa, but I can't, man. I don't have your ability or your, your experience in dealing with people. Yeah, well, see, I, I Look, swear... Pop, please, cl close down the restaurant business and come back with me into the junk business. I can't do it alone. I can't do it without you. Well, I can't do that, son. If I close down, I, I put a parking attendant and a cook and a, and, and, and a waiter, and they say nothing of all the guys down at Al's Body and Fender Shop who've been doing the cars, boys. Papa, I need you. You know, I've been waiting a long time to hear you say that. Then you'll come back? Well, I'll be sacrificing a lot of fame and fortune, but for you... Hey, that's great, Pop. Hey, Mr. Sanford, Lamont, Hi, listen, I only got a minute, but I thought I'd better tell you. Last night, uh, a guy liked my cooking so much that he offered me a job down at his restaurant after that uh, health inspector closed us down. <laughs> hey, I got to go to work, man. I'll catch you later. I'll go with you. <laughs> health inspector closed you down, huh? Well, son, I, we, You know, Pop, they, uh... I should be mad at you, man, but I'm not. You're the best at what you're doing. I'm just glad we're partners again. Yeah, son. Hey. Listen, I might be slowing up a little bit, and I might not be able to do that heavy work, but up here, I got a mind full of junk. 